सर दिस इज ए ब्लड ग्रुप इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी प्रॉब्लम और इट इज जेनेटिकल इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी प्रॉब्लम वेन द इनकम्पैटिबल ब्लड ग्रुप्स आर इंजेक्टेड टू दी इंडिविजुअल्स actually this erythroblastosis fetalis takes place in the mother with negative blood group mother with negative blood group and fetus with positive blood group father is positive blood group sir when the mother is negative blood group father is positive blood group positive father and if the fetus is positive okay so here during the first pregnancy in the women in the first pregnancy mother is negative father is positive and first baby or first fetus is positive there is no problem for this first baby because when this positive baby is delivered immediately after the delivery by the rupturing of placenta rh factors will go to the mother's circulatory system mother circulatory system when mother negative blood group is exposed with positive rh antigens mother immune system will produce rh antibodies rh antibodies and mother is ready with rh antibodies if the mother get second pregnancy if mother get second pregnancy the readily present antibodies will move to the fetus and it causes agglutination and the fetus will die okay so here if you take second pregnancy sir when you take second pregnancy mother is again negative if baby is positive when the baby is positive so father is positive always so when it happening second pregnancy if the second pregnancy occurred in the individual if the fetus baby is positive already antibodies are there what type of antibodies are there rh antibodies are there so rh antibodies will enter into the fetus it causes damage of the fetus so blood group or blood undergoes agglutination process blood grows agglutination process that is called as hemolytic anemia due to the rupturing of the rbc that baby will die within the pregnancy due to the hemolytic anemia so this is genetic blood group incompatibility of the individuals when the mother is negative father is positive and uh, baby is positive so second baby will die when the pregnancy is confirmed so this is called as erythroblastosis so when the rbc are dying in the fetus new rbc immatured rbc are coming from the bone marrow and spleen so erythroblastosis means continuous production of immatured rbc when the destruction of rbc is taking place in the baby due to the rh antibodies so this is called as erythroblastosis fetalis or hemolytic disorder of newborn or hdfn hemolytic disorder of fetus and newborn this is hemolytic anemia so this is genetical incompatibility between the mother and fetus mother and fetus when the mother is with negative blood group father is positive fetus is positive so this kind of problem will be expressed when the mother get pregnancy baby is positive mother is negative when the baby is delivered until the delivery there is no problem because antigens rh antigens are not entered into the mother circulatory system when the normal delivery or cesarean delivery is taking place the rh antigens from the baby will enter into the mother circulatory system i already said natural antibodies are ab absent but whenever antigens are coming to the rh antigens are coming into the circulatory system antibodies can be produced so when antigens entered into the mother circulatory system mother will produce antibodies and these antibodies will not act upon the baby because baby is already delivered outside and that antibodies are stored in the mother immune system 
when the mother gets second pregnancy if the baby is positive the and ready made antibodies will enter into that baby they will damage rbc they will broken down the rbc and the baby due to the hemolytic anemia will die so that is hemolytic disorder of newborn sir how this disease can be avoided how this disease can be avoided generally if the mother is negative baby fetus is positive the injection should be given already rh antibodies artificial rh antibodies containing injections are present sir these injections can be injected at 34th week and 38th week of gestation period so when the pregnancy is going on at 34th week and 38th week we have to inject ready made rh antibodies to the mother no problem after immediate delivery so del first delivery completed for example so when the first delivery completed baby is positive baby is positive mother is negative so after immediately after the delivery we have to check the blood group of baby and we have to inject rh antibodies to the mother so mother gets passive immunity sir what is the benefit when you are injecting rh antibodies to the mother you may ask question sir baby antigens will go to the mother's body before immune system of mothers our rh antibodies will kill the rh antigens of the fetus there is no chance for exposure when the antibodies will be produced when the antigens are exposed to the immune system for example this is mother sorry, mother immune system so these are rh antigens okay after the delivery rh antigens are going towards the mother immune system for the exposure process what we are doing rh antibodies we are injecting so these rh antibodies will damage rh antigens before sensitization with the mother immune system so no sensitization no antibodies are produced by the immune system so in this way we can escape from the problem of hemolytic disorder of newborn okay next polygenic inheritance let us see polygenic inheritance sir eyes per mendella eyes per mendella one gene only one gene is responsible for the one character 